Hello biologists, today we are looking at specification point I from biodiversity from the OCR specification for A-level biology A and this specification point is the last one for biodiversity it's looking at the different conservation management and different conservation projects that are going ahead at the moment there are some specific ones that you need to know about and they are the Convention of International Trade of Endangered Species also known as CITES Rio Convention on Biological Diversity, or CBD, and the Countryside Stewardship Scheme, or CSS. Now, CITES and CBD you, and CSS, you need to know what they stand for, you need to know what the words stand for, and you also need to know what each one of them does specifically. So, um, I've written down all of the different points from all three of those. If you want to pause the video and just try and figure out based upon the names what they might be involved with, it might be worth a good try. So you want to pause that and do that now because on the next couple of slides have come the answers. So uh, CITES, which is a Convention of International Trade in Endangered Species, these guys regulate and monitor the trade in selected species. They also ensure that trade in animals does not threaten the wild populations. They prohibit the commercial trade of wild plants and allow artificially propagated plants to be sold. Also, less endangered animals can be traded, but obviously the more endangered ones can't be. So, for example, if you're going through airports or um, crossing borders, sometimes your luggage can be checked or your um, possessions checked for um, endangered species or, for example, um, like crocodile skin items or snake skins or, for example, furs. Like you, You're not allowed to trade in in the products of animals or the actual animals themselves especially those that are endangered and a lot of animals are um put into the pet trade unfortunately which is endangering their their um their populations their wild populations so the sites would get involved there and try and stop that from happening the next one is the Rio Convention of Biological Diversity, and this is all about sharing information with scientists across the world uh, to help to enable um, sustainable use of organisms and habitats and also raise the profile of biodiversity within governments. So they, they do this by sharing genetic resources, they share scientific knowledge, they also promote ex situ conservation, which was covered in the last video, if you do want to have a look at that to remind yourself. And they also uh, promote the international cooperation of diversity issues. So this is getting governments across the world to work together to help prevent um, animals or ecosystems or habitats becoming extinct or becoming damaged in any way. Um, and they do this by sharing resources. So this one and the previous one, uh, they're in a red box because they're taken directly from the MART scheme. So it's well worth making a note of those points. And then the last one, this isn't taken from the MART scheme because this hasn't been questioned before. Um, so this is what I think would become would come on to the exam to do the CSS. And the countryside stewardship scheme is where they want to try and promote the sustainable beauty of the countryside, to promote it and save it for future generations. And the way that they would do that is to help to maintain and promote use of foot, footpaths and also provide bins and remove litter in areas that could damage the local habitats and therefore ecosystems and also um, local wildlife there. They'd also improve habitats for animals, for example, uh, planting trees um, where they want to promote, for example, uh, more birds within the area. Um, they'd also try and preserve archaeological and historical sites, which you can find in places like the Lake District and um, in Snowdonia, for example. So basically anywhere in the, in the countryside where you'd have uh, items or areas of interest in terms of archaeological or historical sites. So that's the, the three things, the three um, conservation charities or areas or that you need to know about. And here are the points, again, if you do want to have a go at just sorting them out into the sites, CBD and the CSS. And there we are. So we've covered all each one of those, each one of those um, agreements. Uh, if you want to have a look at those in a bit more detail, have a look at the textbooks, but I've covered the main points there that are taken from the specification and the MART schemes. Guys, remember in your exams, don't use the words it, they, amount or size. Use good scientific terminology that's going to get you all the marks. And all the best.